Welcome to another let's play video, this time we are visiting a classic of the King of Fighters series, the 97 edition, which is one of the favorites among the fans, and probably the best entry in the series in terms of uh, story and lore. A lot of things happen in this game. This is the game that saw the introduction of many fan favorite characters, the 97 special team, Yamazaki, Blue Mary, and Billy. Uh, we got Shingo, we got Orochi, Yori, and Leona, and of course, we got the new faces slash Orochi team, Yashiro, Shermi, and Chris. And at the very last, we got to see the big buddy of the entire series, Orochi himself. I believe I still know how to unlock the Orochi, Yori, Leona, and, uh, and the Orochi team. We had a special code back in the arcades, uh, and, and I'm playing the arcade version, which is included in the Orochi Saga compilation. Uh, I believe for Orochi Yori, it's uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, AC. Oops. Let's try this again. And there we go. For Rayona, it's up, down, up, down, up, down. Yep. And for Team Orochi, I believe it's something like that. And here we go. And after all this, I'm not going to pick any of them. Actually, I was asked once in the comments about the mid-boss Orochi Yori. I said that we're going to face Orochi Yori by default, he's the default mid-boss, but if the regular Iori is part of the team, then it's going to be Orochi Leona. The question was, what if our team had both regular Iori and Leona, which one we're going to face? Honestly, I don't know, I never tried this before, so let's do this right now. Let's figure out who we're going to face, let's pick Leona, Iori and Robert. First team, hero team. So, about that Yashiro's trailer. I'm actually recording this just after I saw the trailer. And uh, nothing makes me happier than seeing good old Yashiro back again. It was a dream coming true. I wasn't expecting to see him this early in the trailer releases. But of course, I'm not going to complain. I was waiting for that guy forever. Among uh, all the other New Faces members, he is my favorite. Orochi Yori was incredibly popular in the arcades, especially in KOF 98. No one picks a team that didn't have Yashir on it. He was just that insanely popular. And uh, if you grew up in the arcades, I'm pretty sure you agree with me. And here goes Kyo. So the design of Yashiro looks both familiar and new. The red jacket, uh, the white pants, the hard color. But uh, at the same time, it has many tweaks that makes him look more modern for uh, 2021. Am I the only one who finds that he looks a lot like young Dante from Devil May Cry? I don't know, I think he looks a lot like him and I, and I love Dante. Gameplay wise, it's good stuff as well. He kept all his signature moves as far as I can tell. His normals, his command normals, specials, supers, they are all present. But of course, new combos are now possible thanks to KOF 15's gameplay, which I'm very excited to try. I loved how he was showing all his moves by beating the crap out of Iori. It's crazy that after all these years, he still didn't forget his grudge against him. I love that. And his reveal just happened after I posted my uh, top 10 rivalries, which had his rivalry against Iori in the third place. It was a really good coincidence. So I guess that confirms that Shermi and Chris are going to be there too. But now that I think about it, something actually bothers me. So far, they've been present in teams by keeping their leaders for last. Benimaru, I think, is the leader of Team Hero and he was kept for last. Shizuru is the leader of the Sacred Treasures. Cherry is obviously the leader of Fatal Fury and they've been all shown last. But Yashiro, who is clearly the leader of CYS, is shown first. 
That can only mean one of two things. Either he is no longer the leader or he has new different teammates. But then the question is, who could possibly be the leader of this supposedly new team he is in? The only member I can think of is Gennett's. But it's too early to jump to conclusions. The other thing that I'm curious about, where is Orochi Yashiro? You know, the grappler of doom. Personally, that's my favorite version of him. And that's the Yashiro that I used to use most of the time. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I don't think the Orochi versions of the CYS are going to be present. Orochi was sealed at the end of KOF 14, and uh, I don't think he's going to play a major role in 15. What I personally think is going to happen is that the Orochi versions of Yashiro, Chris and Shermi are going to be DLCs, kind of similar to what they did to Iori and Kyo in KOF 13. You know how uh, Iori was presented first with uh, his flameless version Claw Iori because of uh, story reasons. But then he was available once again with his flame version, the Iori we all used to know. I think uh, it's going to be something like that with uh, Yashiro and his friends. Of course I hope I'm wrong and the Orochi versions will be available from the get-go. Nothing will make me happier than that. And now with Terry Bogart, he is uh, one of the few characters who have who have a theme in this game. This is one of the major weak points of KOF 97. It has the stages has this uh, very forgettable ambient uh, sound, and very few characters have their own themes. And even then, their themes are not at the same quality as KOF 96. The other thing that uh, bothered me back uh, at the time is that KOF 97 was the first KOF game where, uh, where teams no longer have their own stages. I already talked about that at some point, but this is something that I really care about. When teams or characters have their own stages, they add a lot to their charisma and uh, persona. Now that Yashiro was shown in the previous trailer, the next character reveal is obviously going to be, of course, Robert Garcia. I'm just speculating, but I really think it's going to be him. They revealed Yuri earlier, and they have to complete the Art of Fighting team. And she is in the Art of Fighting team this uh, in this game, I believe. Because the Art of Fighting theme was playing during her trailer. So she's not going to be in uh, women's fighters as in some entries. At least that's what I believe. And Ryo will be revealed later, after they reveal characters from other teams. If I understood correctly how these trailers are working right now. But I could be wrong. So yeah, those were my thoughts on Yashiro's trailer. I liked every single second in it. And I watched it like 20 times. Even his taunts and wind poses were there. <laughs> I wonder if his pet eagle will show up though. That bird looked really good. And I think this is going to be it for a while. Maybe not, not quite. Now he's dead. Alright, two teams to go before facing the mid boss. We're now against Team Yamazaki. 97 special. Let's start with Leona first against Mary. And each one of these members has their own theme. The command grab got me. Uh, she's alright. She's not a lot of trouble. I'm playing on the normal difficulty by the way. I believe it's, uh, it's level 4 out of 8. Yamazaki is the strongest by far in this team. It's such a pain. Nice one, Yamazaki. You got that snake arm right. Oh, never jump. Never jump when he has super. Alright, got him nonetheless. I wonder if there is a special intro against Billy in uh, this game. Let's see... But no, there isn't. And here goes Billy. Final team before the mid-boss. 
Psycho Soldiers. This stage was remade in KW14. La Athena likes to spam her Phoenix Arrow. Should be punishable. And I was hit the first time. I kept get, I kept missing. That's all right. This time I got you. The AI in this game has a lot of of exploits. For Kensu, you just have to block on the air. Talk about an overkill, Kensu. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Come here. And overkill back at you. The moment of truth. Who is it going to be? Yori or Leona? And it's Yori again. So, here's your answer. If Yori and Leona are both in your team, it's going to be the default one again. It's going to be Orochi Yori. Mystery solved. An over 20 years old question answered. Let's get the Iori's fight each other. Let them fight. Oh, cheap level. I knew he would do that. Ah. Oh no, the time. I didn't see it. Ah. Oh. It's not a problem. I believe I'm safe against his fireball. But I'm not safe against that. I'm surprised he, do he doesn't he doesn't do his super. Ooh, excellent punish from Iori. And he didn't block. Thank you. Now, with the stars of these times, so his design didn't really change that much. Yashiro's design, I mean. The Orochi team. And you can tell their order. I wonder who is going to be first. I have no idea. Oh, and it's Chris. I did not see that coming. So Robert is perfect against Chris. You can just spam his Senpukiaku. Even if he blocks, he got the chip damage. And I build up meter very easily. Also, that happens. His guard gets crushed. Robert is perfect against Chris. Now, Shermi, Shermi is the easiest in this team. She spams her uh, her projectiles. Wait for her to do the one next to her, and then you punish that one. I'll take that. And here goes Shermi. Now, Yashiro's AI is uh, is not as predictable though. I'm not sure how to beat him, but uh, he's not very difficult, it's just not uh, as predictable as the others. One thing I know for sure, I shouldn't be standing next to him. Oh uh, no, don't do that. And he has quite the meter. And he's been nice so far. He could punish me a lot of times, but he didn't. Also, I'm going to lose all my meter if I die, so... May as well do that to get the chip damage and he goes for the punish. Alright, I deserve that. Now for the rivals. But they didn't have a special intro when he's uh, in 97. Or maybe because he's in his Orochi form. Come here. And here goes Yashiro. Now time for the big boss. As I said in my top 10 hardest bosses, Orochi is the easiest. He is supposed to be the toughest and the deadliest of them lore wise. But his AI is just too predictable and uh, not very smart. He has deadly moves. You can avoid them effectively. Since I picked an edit team who are not going to have a special ending. Unless I lose against Orochi, then I guess I'll choose the Sacred Treasures team. But I'm not going to lose against Orochi. That's for sure. Hopefully. So one tip against Orochi. At the start of the combat, you can always just casually walk towards him and grab him. One free grab at the start each time. 
that worked at the arcades as well. Now you just have to roll. Ah, oh, he got me. I wasn't careful. Let's try harder with Iori. The jump kick didn't work, why? I jumped effectively. That super is really bad if he's doing it when you're cornered. Oh, maybe I'll lose, you know? He's going to the grab. No. He's going for the grab. No. Oh, he did a genocide cutter, which is just his normal kick, I think. And I win by times out. What a climactic victory! Alright, so that was KOF 97. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you want me to play through other games, feel free to, to suggest whatever titles you want. I'll be happy to oblige. Thank you for watching again and see you next time.